Morning Top Shaggers, how are we? Right, something a bit different this video. I said I was going to be back in the woods for this one. Uh, and I was supposed to be, and I was. And I recorded a whole video, but classic muggins over here deleted all the footage. I, fo <laughs> I formatted all my memory cards before even ripping the footage. So anyway, I'm up in North Wales. I'm in Snowdonia National Park. And this morning, I'm going to go climb Snowdon. I just had a real itch this week at work that I wanted an adventure. I wanted to get out of East Anglia. I wanted to do some hiking. I wanted to get up into the hills, into the mountains. So I thought, why not come to Snowdon? I've done it a couple of times before. I've done the 24-hour uh, Three Peaks Challenge, Ben Nevis, Scarfell Pike and Snowdon. I've never done the Crib Gok way up. Hopefully it's not too windy and I'll be able to get up that way today. I'm meeting a lad called Grant that I met at the first ranch camp. He's a Welsh lad, lives in South Wales, so I'm stoked to meet him, stoked to go hiking with him. We're going to camp out tonight somewhere. If the weather's still miserable like this, because it's hossing it down out there, then we'll go find a forest after we've done Snowdon, and then I'll be doing a night solo as well. Cheers for joining me. Best get my Gore-Tex on. Let's have a good one. I'm hanging a little bit before we've even started today. I'm running on three hours sleep. I got up at quarter to two this morning. Six hours on the road. I haven't even got out of the car yet. <laughs> I can feel my eyes going waiting for Grant. Here he comes, look. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, lad. First off, one thing I do want to say, that bus driver was pretty darn skilled, mate. Did you know yeah. that? <laughs> He yeah, was I'm... flying up that track. Well, road, it was a road. He was flying up that road. He Proper... definitely uh, soon as <laughs> Proper tight cornering. Right, we've been going about 20 minutes. Nice and gradual. You can see the road down there. Howdy. <laughs> hey. Hey there. <laughs> right, we're doing it. We're at the start of Crib Gok. You can hear the wind up on the tops a little bit, but... We've made a decision and we're going to try it, aren't we? We can always turn around, I guess. Go up and we see you now. See what the crack is. Come on then, let's go. Let's do it. We've both just spotted a giant ball of tin foil down there, look. <laughs> Can't really see it on there, but look at this view. Starting to rain again. I'm feeling good though, legs are feeling good, bag's comfy, yeah. boots are comfy. Yeah. Feeling good, bro? Good as fuck, man. Feeling alive. <laughs> Where's that? Yeah. We kind of found our own path up and we went the nanny goat trail way. It's a little bit gusty on the top, but still got a green light, I reckon. Here we go. Oh, who's calling me? All right then. So you might have noticed I've got a green rucksack cover on and I've treated myself to an Osprey 65 litre mainly for the charity hike that I'm doing next month. It's 200 miles, I want to be comfortable. The thing I didn't like about the 3FUL bag was the roll down top and the fact when you've got your Z light out, you obviously use that as your back cushion, but you can't pack your bag properly until the Z light's in. And in the winter, the last thing you want to pack away is the Z light. So it didn't really work out too great for me. I plan to go up to the lakes in Scotland and stuff next year, so I've invested in the kit. I've bought a Thermarest inflatable mat as well, again, just for pure comfort. Uh, I can't remember which one it is, but I'll let you know when I unpack it all and I'll show you later. But yeah, just getting to the top now, just about to drop down onto the knife's edge. You having a good time up there, Grant? Yes! On the top, boy? Yeah. Calves are on fire. Bit of a leg burn of this. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, nice edge, mate. Right on the top. Shame it's so misty. But we're doing it. It's a little bit gusty, not too bad though. Let's go. back down at the bottom now the wind's died off it stopped raining yeah but <laughs> it's been fun isn't it it's awesome. been fun awesome claim really enjoy it that was yeah uh... so we're gonna go dry off the kit and uh drive to the woods we're gonna go we'll suss it out look. quick recce if not i've got one written down worst yeah. case so we've got options But we're back at the bottom now, we're just waiting for the bus. She's got the rab on, stay nice and toasty, it's pretty chilly up here. <laughs> oh, there's the bus! The bus is there! Oh, Let's go! Bash it! Garnedge, you going in Snowdon, Cribgok, 5 hours, 10.4 kilometres, extra difficult. I wouldn't have said it was extra difficult, it was alright actually. That's us back at the cars now, we've had a good seven hours up there in the mountains, just scrambling and walking around and chilling, sitting behind rocks, chatting. It's been awesome, really, really enjoyed that, I think that's well overdue. Some real calf burn there, the knife's edge, even though there was no views, you could still feel you were high up. You could still see down each side being a bit naughty. So yeah, really chuffed I've got that ticked off. I've always wanted to do that, so really happy. I think the plan is now, we're gonna go find a shop and get a couple of bits and then head to the forest. Whoa, look at that light shining down from the top of the mountain. Road and focus a state in a golf <laughs> rally stage. Hey, hey, hey. This is where we've ended up to set the tarps up. Cars are just over there. I'm just going to go up this track, chuck a right, and just pitch up somewhere in the trees. Looks pretty flat, looks like a pretty decent spot. It's not cold though, is it? It's not cold at all, mate. Right, we've just got set up, fire's on. Just going for a bog standard plough. I'm on a slight decline tonight, but I'll still sleep well regardless. Grant's just got a load of firewood in. Are you getting to the dry stuff there? Yeah, just taking the moss off it, really. It's, the outside. it's only outside dry, uh, damp, so it should be good. We've got some burgers and a couple of other bits to cook up. Just going to chill, in with you, man? Have a couple of tinnies. Chill after the day's walk. Love it, man. Nice one, lad. We've got some bacon and cheese to go in there as well. Grant's getting the bacon on. Having some bacon butties for breakfast. Just brewing myself up a coffee in one of these be your own barista bags. Pretty cool idea, you don't need a press or anything, you just add the hot water in the top. It's ground coffee and then you're good to go straight in there. Yes lad, Ooh, thanks bro. Bacon sandwich. Much appreciated dude. Get that done, yeah. What a gem. Go for a little drive, have a little bit of an adventure, and just spend the day chilling. Round every corner there's just another amazing view. Another mountain, another bit of woods, another lake. All the dry stone walls look beautiful as well. 
some real graft gone into them over the years. Right, we've just pulled in and we're going to go check out that woods over there. Looks like a bridge down there that we can get down and cross over the water. It's some sort of activity centre or something by the looks of it, but I'm thinking tonight that should be alright. Should be able to find a couple of spots in there I reckon. But yeah, let's go check it out. So we found a load of penny buns around here, absolutely packed with resin this tree. Look at all this coming off it. Full of it. wheels. That's crystal clear. Settled in, got my tea on. I'm in this lovely little spruce wood with loads of moss covered stones. And I'm camping on this ledge, overlooking the lake. I'm not too far from Penny Pass. Just got some incense sticks on. I'm cheating with a boil in the bag camp meal, but it fits in this titanium pot, this 750 mil pot, perfect. And everything's soaking. It's been raining most of the afternoon, so I haven't been able to film much. Just wanted to get the tarp out and sheltered. All day breakfast in the evening for tea, why not, eh? Rather than using the easy tears at the top, if you flip it on its side and then cut it along there with a knife, you've got less chance of getting sticky fingers. Just got into bed, just chilling, laying here, listening to the rain on the tarp. Classic sound. Morning, survived another night. It was pretty rainy and windy most of the night, but I stayed dry and comfortable. Can't see the clouds, but I'm guessing this rain isn't going to be shifting anytime soon. It's been raining most of the trip. Cool little spot. I'm feeling good today though. Second night on the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite and the Trekology inflatable pillow. Apart from being a little bit of an eyesore amongst all these earth tones and greens that I like so much, well worth the purchase, worth the money. It was actually Becca from Muddy Bootlaces that recommended it to me, who has got a YouTube channel now, by the way. Remember, if you saw the video that I did down in Cornwall with Becca, she said she was gonna make a channel. I'll link it down below, because she's put her first video out now and all that. There's loads of yellow stag's horn mushroom around here. Absolutely everywhere. showing no signs of slowing down this rain. I was thinking about packing up and just getting back to the car. But I'm gonna wait 10, 15 minutes, see if it dies off a little bit. I might just start packing up anyway and then make a mad dash for the car. It's only about a kilometer back to the car and then we'll just push on, get exploring. Just as a size reference, my TBS water bottle's a litre. So the therm rest pretty much compresses down to that. Could probably compress down a little bit smaller. And then there's the Trekology pillow. Good little lightweight sleep kit. And to go with the mat and the pillow, I've just got the Nature Hike CW300. This is the bag that I used on my last charity walk last winter. It's fair, it packs down really small. It's not the warmest bag, but it is down. But that's why I wear my softy trousers and my rab jacket to accompany it. I've been using my one Tigris chair slash porch mat as my protection for the mat underneath. See my ridge line? Look how high up this tree it goes. And there's that big gap in the middle. Honestly, I had to climb up that tree just to get my ridge line that high. <laughs> Worth it though. Good little spot this was. Got the full three meters stretched out there. And there's a water source over here. I'm gonna go fill my bottle up quick. Running down straight off the top of the mountain.
that's as fresh as it comes. No trace left on the rock, smashing it down, so I'm just going to run back to the car. Back in the car, looking like a drowned sewer rat. It's absolutely smashing it down out there. There's even steam coming off my legs. Everything's soaking, the camera's soaking. But, whew, what a camp that was. That was such a sick little spot. I've never camped on top of a rock like that before. Really nice to have that view of the decline looking down through the trees. Proper, proper cool little spot. Right, moving onwards then. I might swing by a shop quickly and grab a coffee. I didn't make one this morning just because I couldn't really be bothered. You know, when it's just soaking wet, there's not a great deal you can do. I just didn't want to be faffing around. I was just laying in my sleeping bag quite happily. Well, this has been one hell of an adventure so far. I couldn't really be bothered to get a fire going yesterday. I didn't really want to waste all my time processing wet wood. So I'm at Lambera Spa. Breakfast consisted of a tea, a slice and a coffee. So yeah, just a little bit more adventuring to do and then I'll be back on the road. There you are, very rainy Lake Barla. <laughs> cool down here, cool little camp spots as well tucked away, another one over my shoulder, this is just a little lay by that I've pulled in at, obviously it started raining again didn't it, why wouldn't it? Ugh. I've just been driving along reflecting on how awesome this trip's been, it's just that sense of freedom, I've said it a few times in videos, but like multi days like this where I haven't got a fixed plan and I'm kind of just making it up as I go along, that just really does something for me. I know how lucky I am being able to go exploring and camping and stuff every single week. I've got such a chilled out partner. Catherine's awesome and she doesn't mind me coming and doing stuff like this every week. She's at work and I look at myself a few years ago and I'll just be sat on the sofa doing nothing with myself on the whole time off. And now I try and live life a little bit more to the fullest and get out and explore each week. And, and then I find myself ending up in places like Wales for a few days, just on my own, cutting about and enjoying what nature has to offer. It's really, really awesome and I don't take it for granted at all. One thing I would say, next time I come back here to do a woodland camp, I'll definitely bring the hammock. Because if you're up in the hills and you're not tent camping or tarp camping on the top of the mountains, then... Most of the forests are on a slant. There's not really a lot of flat spots around here, so if you enjoy hammock camping, put your hammock in your kit. I think I'm gonna head another 24 miles west towards Fairbourne and go and check out Blue Lake. It's something I've seen on the internet quite a lot, so I just wanna go there and see it for myself. So let's push on. Well, that's Barmouth over there. That's Fairbourne over there. Awesome views. I'm sure I recognise that railway bridge from a film though. Just can't remember what. Nice sandy beach. Rough seas out there. Hell of a spot. That's probably the first bit of sunshine I've seen since I've been in Wales. <laughs> Nice little roadside find. <laughs> well, I've learned two things since stopping the car already. Just had a quick look on the phone, and apparently the entrance to this lake, it's like a tunnel through the rocks. Apparently it was that full of rubbish, it's been filled in. So I might not even be able to get there. And two, I'm not sure if this is the correct footpath or what to get up there, but like everything we're just winging it so we'll go see see if we can get there but i'm not really holding up much hope anymore still a nice little hill walk regardless do you know how you know when you feel like you're growing up 
because I got excited the other day that our heating oil got delivered. <laughs> adulting, mate, adulting. Not getting cold this winter. Right, made it to the top. This is the bit of the quarry. There's an axle and some wheels over there. I've probably come the most cack-handed way up to this blue lake. I'm sure there'll be people watching that have been here before that are like, mate, why the hell did you go that way? But hopefully at the top here, might be able to get eyes on. Yes, here we are. Used to be a bit of a hot spot for wild swimming, apparently. I'm gonna go down and see if I can find the tunnel, see if it has been filled in or not. If I was with a group of people, and I know I could definitely get out, I would 100% jump from the top here. If it really is that deep, you can see it's crystal clear. I can see at least 10 meters down, looking at the rocks. Nice big jump that. You definitely make it. Right, let's go. <laughs> That'd be wicked, wouldn't it? Well, this is around the back. Hell of a wild camping spot, isn't it? Oh, it's just littered with them up here. What are we saying? Come back here and do a wild camp. Shout out Phil and Chaz. Shout out Annie and Wug. Shout out Wayne. Definitely filled in, looks more recent this stuff, but from standing up there looking back this way, looks like the archway would have been about here. Not to worry, still an epic little walk with great views, nice to see it. And I'm even going to take a bit of Welsh slate home. Okay, we're going for a different footpath on the way back down. This one looks well used. Hopefully it'll take me back down to the car. There's always a way, we'll always find a way. All part of the adventure, isn't it? I didn't spot these when I parked up. We're safe though, didn't get clamped. Back into Snowdonia we go. Looks like the weather's clearing up. Pretty nice over here. Right then squad, apologies for the delay in filming. I've set up in a diamond configuration from that fence post there to the silver birch, but look at the spot that I'm at. I'll show you a little better in the morning, but I'm right by a lake. Got a full moon out tonight as well. Absolutely bliss. Oh yes, got a little fire on the go. I'm gonna warm my feet up by the fire, sit on my mat for a little bit. Oggle over this lake view. Don't know how well you can see it, but definitely got to dry my feet off because they are wet. I haven't seen this in the daylight yet either, so we're gonna be seeing it together. Sweet corns are on, no faffing around with a grill hanger or anything like that today. Just put my grill straight on the fire. Boots and socks are drying out as well. Not really a lot going on tonight. Once I've cooked, I'll probably head to bed. Dinner is served. Washed down with a little Stella. Right, lads and lasses of the internet world, this little adventure nugget's got to go to sleep. I shall see you bright and early. Well, that's not underwhelming at all, is it? Ugh. Shared my digs with this little fella last night. 
Mate, you wouldn't throw up in a taxi, so what makes you think it's all right leaving your slime all over my kit? Oh, because I'm sharing your house. Oh, fair enough then, fair enough. I won't give you the service charge. Fair point, well presented, mate. I'm so glad we've got a nice sunny morning. I don't know if I could be chewed with packing up all my wet gear again. Definitely gonna have to have a swim in there before I leave today because I've got four days worth of mank in my pits and that now. Look at this dude. A bit of Amanita, he's a beast, isn't he? Just does it for me, this spot. I didn't even realise the stairs were there last night. Probably not the best place to pitch. However, I didn't even see them when I came in because it was so dark. I walked down there and ended up setting up here. Realised the stairs were there and it was sort of a bit late by then. I couldn't really be bothered walking around the whole lake trying to find a spot. It's really quiet up here. There's a hell of a yomp. My car's back down in Betsy Coed. Sorry for the pronunciation. But I've had to get some work done. Just needs a new fuel pump. It's getting squared away today. I sort of broke down. That's why I've done another night. I couldn't get out of Wales. <laughs> and they can't fit me in until about lunchtime today. So I said, well, I'll leave the car at the garage, hike up here, do a camp, and then come back and get it today. So it's worked out well. But I'm a little bit gutted because I was supposed to be going for a paddle with uh, Simon the Bloke in the Woods and Vildmark today. But it is what it is, isn't it? I might still make it down this evening for dinner. Fingers crossed. If I do, you'll see the footage. I'm not gonna pack up fully yet, but I'm just gonna get my bed space down and squared away. Leave the tarp up just because I plan on kicking around for a little bit. Worst case, should it rain. But if anyone comes and doesn't like it, at least I've just got the tarp to take down. But I plan on chilling for a few hours yet. Just watch your eyes a second. <laughs> what have I become? Hey, eh? Do you know what? I feel like I can warrant having a mat like this. I come out camping every single week. I'm not doing my body any favours. I can sleep anywhere, but I need to get out the mindset of roughing it soldiering style. I'm allowed to be comfortable. And if I want to be doing this until I die, why not treat myself to the kit that's going to enable me to do that? Because I haven't woke up with any aches or pains at all on this mat. I normally have a bit of hip ache on a foam mat or something, you know, it's only last half hour or so. But why not treat myself, innit? Why not? Is it going to be in my kit every week on my bushcraft camps? Probably not. Especially not in the pine forest I normally go to. The floor's normally spongy enough for me. Sausage butty and a coffee for breakfast today. Gonna be holding these sausages a while, aren't I? <laughs> That's the beauty of being out here in nature and not a lot to do. You can spend time on these things. I think this takes the biscuit for my new favourite camp spot, you know. Maybe the conditions have helped. It's a beautiful lake. I slept on a flat bit of ground, which Grant says is quite rare in Wales, and I kind of believe him. <laughs> Fire on a rock next to a lake. What more could you want? Breakfast and coffee went down an absolute treat. I think I'm going to stash my kit. I've just took my tarp and everything down now. Just, it's not gonna rain, it's blue skies. I'm gonna stash my kit and then do a full lap so I don't have to worry about the setup or anything. And uh, if anyone's heading to the ranch camp at the end of the month, I'll see you there. I think Alex has still got tickets. He's hosting another camp down at the ranch in Kent. Uh, I'll put the details down below if you wanna come and have a beer and all that. Uh, don't message me about the tickets or anything though. It's Alex's gig, he's dealing with it all. I'm just going down there to meet everyone, have a laugh, have a beer and a bit of a social. So I'll see you there. No trace left from this morning's campfire, no trace left from last night's campfire, and no trace left from my camp spot. Although, I tell you missus she left her panties here. Whee! Look at the size of these chewed up heifers. Flipping heck. And this one don't know what it's doing. <laughs> 
Shout out to Daniel McKee on Instagram for the heads up on this place. Didn't disappoint, bro. Much appreciated. So where the fairies live, innit? Did anyone else used to put sweets underneath these as a kid? I remember going out for walks with my grandma and my mum. Always used to put a couple of uh, little teddy bear sweets under there. Moving on. I really, really don't want to go home today. Sorry, Catherine. <laughs> I just, I'd love to do this, not full time, but, you know, save up a load of money and just backpack about, just wild camp everywhere. Be sick, wouldn't it? Always at my happiest when I'm sleeping rough. Some people find it proper weird though, don't they? They're like, what do you want to go and sleep out under a tarp for when you've got a house? Just don't get it, mate. You just don't get it. That's all right. It's our secret, isn't it? Not used to all these hills, man. <laughs> Rock filtered water, don't mind if I do. All of you that have made it this far and you're still watching my videos, big love to you. Big, big love to you. You're the reason I keep doing this. I'd still be out here camping regardless, but you guys keep me motivated to keep making videos. But editing stuff together has become another little hobby in its own for me, really. I thoroughly enjoy it. Hey up, we got a rocky descent here. Let's run it, let's run it. We're finding all the mushrooms apart from the ones with the little pointy hats on that I've got my eye out for. Well, that's the end there. And then, can you see the dam in the distance? Just about where I camped over there. Coming here again for sure. Excuse me, mate, are you the sorting hat? Anything but Gryffindor, mate. Cheers. I'm just taking all the off the beaten track trails just to see where they lead. See if I can get any spots in the book for next time. Well, this one looks good down here. Fill the memory cards until I can get back to my kit. But check out this view. I'm at the top of the lake now. You can see the whole thing. The mountains in the background as well. Just don't get this back home. Oopsie. Let's be honest, it's not like I really care about the signs anyway. <laughs> like I say, unless it's obviously someone's private land, like someone's garden or private lake or private woodland or something. If it's somewhere like this, not too fast. Not fast. Three nights wild camping and four days exploring Snowdonia National Park with views like this and I've spent a big fat zero on accommodation. <sighs> it's the little things. Right then team, I'm all dried off. I'm about to hike back down into the town and go and get my car and then I'll probably be out of here. But when I get home, I've got one more thing to show you. Just a little giveaway for those of you that have stuck around. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, I'm back home. It's quite late and uh, I'm sat in a garage. But I wanted to talk to you about a little giveaway that I've got from a guy called Steve Baker. Shout out to you, Steve. Uh, I met Steve at the last community camp in Scarborough um, and he actually made Ben and myself personalised catapults. And he's made one for a left hand or right hand for me to give away to one of you guys. Here you go. Really good craftsman. Really well made, Steve. You put a lot of time and effort into these. So as I say, it can be shot left-handed or right-handed. If you're interested in it and you're actually going to get some use out of it, stick the word catty in the comments and I'll just do a random draw next week on the next video. Thank you so much for joining me on that little bit of my Wales trip. I had such a good time. Honestly, I've got memories for life from that one. Grant, thank you very much for taking the time off work and coming to hang out with me, mate. Really appreciate that. Next video, I'm going to be back out in the woods, probably with Ben. So I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.